back roads and barbecue, baby. Before I begin this video, I want to share the following scripture with you. Reading from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. It says, And be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. So what's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel, Back Roads and Barbecue. So my goal today is to do a walkthrough of the 2023 Lowrider ST. Uh, specifically with the coastal package which is a uh, factory package option you can get from Harley which includes a couple accessories already pre-installed on your bike so th there's lots of videos out there on the lowrider ST and it's you know basic form as it comes um, I thought that it would be worthwhile to just kind of do a quick filming of the coastal package kind of give you an idea of what comes on it um, I'll drop a link to that below where you can actually look at that on Harley's webpage and um, I'll show you a picture of that uh, from the webpage and the cost and then um, kind of tell you if I really think that I got a lot of value out of that coastal package as far as what it added to the price of the bike and um, then kind of give you a thousand mile review on this ST. I've had it for um, a little bit over a month, I think five weeks now. Uh, I got about 1,100 miles on it, just had the thousand mile service done. So just kind of give you some impressions after a thousand miles. Um, the only difference in this video of the bike right now is it has the sundowner seat on it which is something that i added after the fact um, i meant to put the stock seat back on it for this video totally forgot rode out here to the park and uh, realized that i left the sundowner seat on it so you're seeing the bike you know in its stock form with the coastal package except for the add-on of the sundowner seat so let's take a look at what this adds and then i'll talk about some first impressions of the bike thousand mile review and then um give you some thoughts on what I'm going to do to it next and what those videos are going to look like and um, we'll go for a quick ride so here we go so here we have you can see on the Harley Davidson website a uh, picture of the coastal package for the lowrider ST uh, price there on the right <clears throat> you obviously have to buy that through your dealer um, I don't know if that's when you're ordering the bike or um, after the bikes on the showroom floor mine was on the showroom floor actually with this package installed um, So I don't know exactly what that process looks like But that's um, the coastal package there and then a little bit more detail on the second picture here um, Where we're looking at the individual components You'll see that flat-out bar the new bracket the in-game rider foot pegs and that Rockford Fosgate audio system So that's direct from Harley Davidson's website to kind of give you a picture of what that looks like So in its stock form, 2023 Lowrider ST with the Coastal Package in the white, the white sand pearl. So you get a couple kind of shots of this real quick. Um, got the 117, uh, still everything stock. So the Coastal Package. So when you get on Harley's website, you're going to see the Coastal Package basically comes with three things uh, first thing you're going to get with the coastal package is the add-on radio the rockford fosgate system which is an entirely bluetooth system um, there are no volume controls there's no auxiliary port there's not even any indicator lights that it's on it is a complete bluetooth system that pairs with your phone or your bluetooth audio player um, a lot of guys have added a, um, a cheap Amazon um, controller to their handlebars, Bluetooth controller that allowed them to change songs 
and adjust volume and that's something that I'm definitely going to want to do in the future um, right now mine is not working and so I have to take my bike back to the shop uh, it worked great for about 900 miles and then I started having some issues with it um, it was getting harder and harder to pair and connect it would sometimes connect sometimes not um, I, you know, deleted apps, reinstalled apps, turned Bluetooth on and off, and then finally it just quit entirely. So I talked to the um, service tech at Myers Dern Harley here in Tulsa, and as um, far as he knows, there's not a quick fix. So I'm going to have to take it in, let a tech look at it, and I'm hoping it's just something jiggled loose, maybe a wire or a connector wasn't put in. Um, as tight as it should have been and it's a quick fix. I'm hoping it's not a replacement uh, But if it is, you know, it's not the worst thing. It's covered under warranty since it was dealer installed And you know, I've had the bike for five weeks. So first part of the coastal package is that Rockford Fosgate system um, Installed on your bike um, So far as far as that system, I mean, there's a lot of videos out there You can probably watch be a little bit more in-depth review um and I got the stock windscreen on here, so I'm hearing it okay, probably to about 70. I wear a, um, let me a quick shot. I wear a modular helmet. Um, might might do better with a complete, you know, enclosed full face. It wasn't modular, maybe less wind noise, um, but I can hear it pretty decent to about 70. Um, and, but unfortunately, that's kind of at full volume, which I'm trying to avoid, so I don't blow out these speakers, but. Um, I like having the sound. I come off an Electroglide uh, Ultra Classic, which had obviously a stereo. Really enjoyed having my music. And what I found was I typically played music from my phone anyways. So this wasn't a huge downgrade um, as far as its features. Because I pretty much just want to play music off my phone anyways at this point. So, a uh, second thing that's going to come on this Coastal Package is the Harley Flat Out Bar. Um, try to get some good shots of it here and basically it's got replaceable uh, sliders there that you can get from Harley um, and part of that package I think I'll get a better shot on the other side here is part of this package as well is um, this bracket here which allows you to mount uh, not only here but also there um, and I think it also maybe adjust the position of your turn signals or alters exactly where they're placed if I remember right just for looking at the bracket online it looks like it goes up into that fairing and does something with your turn signals as well allowing you to mount this so part of that package is the flat out bar with the uh, replaceable sliders and then this whole bracket assembly uh, what's cool about this is I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the flat out bar, but if I do some kind of engine guard, mustache guard, um, I already have the brackets here installed, um, ready to go. Not something I'm gonna have to buy extra when I make that decision. So, a couple more shots of that here. So you can just kind of see overall what that bike looks like with the flat out bar, um, which is pre-installed as part of that Kota package. Um, last part of that package is the in-game um, rider footboard. So uh, these are the black. They have a black and a silver in-game set. Um, so this is really this is the only other addition. Um, you know, set up just like standard. Just take the place of your standard pegs. Um, what I have found though is it seems like it may raise my foot position a little bit more which then makes this problem of the rear brake pedal um, even more noticeable which has been something that a lot of guys have talked about lots of videos out there i have not attempted to adjust that linkage yet which i know you can from the factory with the factory linkage you can make some adjustments to that um, not something i've tried to do yet um, but i'm not not sure if I'm keeping these uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to like a thrashing supply floorboard or something like that I thought you want to go back to pegs so I haven't really messed with this yet I've just kind of learned to live with it uh, make some adjustments to the way I ride and brake and so far it hasn't been too bad 
um, but it definitely has a much different feel um, as far as that back brake pedal but so these are the in-game uh, floorboards uh, you can get matching ones for your passenger um, to put on as well if you want to keep that look now here is the other side as well um, so um, I don't know if they really took away from ground clearance or not. I'm not a super aggressive rider, to be honest with you. So um, I think I might have scraped um, one of these pegs just as I was maybe just trying to see how far I could go. But it's not typically how I ride. So I don't know what it did to ground clearance. And if that's going to make a huge difference, that's something you'll have to decide. So coastal package. Again, you're going to get that Rockford Fosgate and stereo. You're going to get that flat out bar and you're going to get those in-game rider footboards and then the mini footboards so overall the low rider st so i came off a uh 2009 electric glide onto this low rider st i actually traded in two bikes uh 2019 soft tail slim as well um and I also ride a 2003 Heritage, which I'll do a full walkthrough video on. Um, really sweet bike. So, the mid controls seem to be one of the things that a lot of people either love or hate about this bike. And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, coming off an electric glide, a slim, and a Heritage, the mids at first felt really, really awkward. Um, thousand miles in I actually really really like that riding position so I'm five foot six I got a 30 30 inch inseam so I'm a shorter guy uh, shorter inseam the mids work really really well for me um, allows me to tuck my legs in and get that tank uh, there again I'm not a real aggressive rider but you know if I wanted to be it definitely gives me that position to do so uh, the 117 from what I understand, I already have the torque cam in it. So um, this thing is quick off the line. So far, the power is great. Um, I've not had any issues so far uh, with this M8 at all. Like I said, we just got the 1,000 mile service done. Um, no issues, no leaks, no noises, nothing so far. Great torque, great power. I'm um, still running stock exhaust. Uh, I have a set of S&S slash cut slip-ons that are going to be installed um, right after this video is done. The only thing I've been waiting on, if I really wanted to do this video with the bike in its stock form, talk about what I like and don't like, and then maybe some of the changes. So I'm going to do a full detailed install video on that real soon, and then kind of give you um, kind of my impressions on that. And what kind of difference I hear in the sound. I don't really expect a lot of difference in power or engine um, torque or horsepower, but really I'm just looking for a little bit of sound to this bike. Uh, stock windscreen for a guy 5'6". Um, give me a little bit more buffeting than I like. Um, we'll admit I'm used to taller windscreens, so um, that could be the issue as well for me right now. Um, dual disc brakes love those great stopping power so far notice on this bike um, the fairing provides pretty good protection um, I'm not going to compare it to the electric glide but I will compare it to something like my slim that had a windshield or my heritage that had a windshield and um, I think it still does really great on the highway um, your hands are already exposed anyways on this so it doesn't really do a lot to cut down on that but um i still think for what it is it definitely adds a lot to this bike um as far as the bags you know you got the clamshell bags um i ride this thing back and forth to work um i put either a small backpack small lunch box um, i'm able to fit my laptop in it when i need to um a lot of guys are complaining that they're too small don't like the clamshell you know it doesn't really bother me i think for a, a, a small daily commuter I think it's going to be just fine for what I need it for. I am considering the Avon Black Tour Pack on this, so we'll kind of take that into consideration. Seen a couple guys that have done that. I, I like the look, 
so and I like what it adds as far as storage capacity maybe for a longer day a longer ride so I may consider that um, mirrors I think the mirrors are too short just based upon maybe the bar position or just the way you sit up a little bit higher on these M8s than you do on, on the older soft tails uh, I wouldn't mind the mirrors being a little bit higher or a little bit wider out um, to go over my shoulders or pack my shoulders to give me some more visibility uh, to my left and to my right um, as far as when I am on the highway especially um, fuel mileage been pretty good um, so far I mean really the only issue I've had um, after in the first thousand miles is with that rock through phosphate which is kind of hoping Harley can fix that real quick and um, not be a huge issue to get that fixed up and kind of well, back where it needs to be so um, tires are great so really safe on the highway I haven't ridden in the rain so I really can't comment on that what this feels like in the rain or slippery conditions uh, with these scorchers um, plus with that daymaker headlights um, I think it could be brighter but you know I'm also coming off a of heritage with the passing lamps that I usually kept on um, so um, turn signals I think Harley could spring for LEDs man I really do I mean we got LED headlight LED tail light I don't think it would be a huge huge stretch for them to just do the turn signals as well and you get a bike from the factory that's completely LED and ready to go so I got um, Eagle lights Eagle lights uh, LED inserts they're gonna be going in these I'm gonna give you a full review on those I actually had them in and put these back to stock so you could see the bike as close to stock as possible um, I'll tell you what I like and don't like about those Eagle lights once I do a review on those and get get that video made out and put out um, see what else yeah I mean it's the M8 exhaust so uh, it's got that heavy breather on it which I think looks pretty cool I can definitely see how guys who are doing um, forward controls are having an issue with leg position and switching that out um, I don't know if I'm going to do that um, I may do a mustache guard with some highway pegs so I have that option to kick out and then you know because of my shorter inseam probably going to keep those mids um, and enjoy that just the way it is bar position for me is a little bit more uh, forward than I like um, got a little bit more of a sport bike feel to it for me which um, I don't know if I like as much for just long riding um, get a little bit sore in the back so my plans right now is I actually have ready uh, in my garage is I talked to the guys at Thrash and Supply their Rogue Glide adapter plate will actually fit on this and that's going to bring the bars back they said almost two inches and up almost two inches with the stock risers and basically that's going to bolt on in this place and it's a plate that comes bolts in there come back and then your risers bolt on you know where it comes back about two inches um, I also ordered the Bung King um, six inch risers with a two inch pullback so I'm thinking that's going to give me about um, eight inches up, seven and a half up, and maybe about three and a half back. Which for my shorter arms and my shorter height, stature, probably going to give me that upright position that I want. Maybe allow me to lean back a little bit, which, you know, then I'll consider um, what I'm going to do with this seat. So my plan is to do a full review of the Sundowner versus the Saddleman SD Pro versus the stock seat. Um, I had the Saddleman SD Pro, and I'll let you know why I returned that, what my thoughts were on that. Um, and I didn't get any video when I had it on, but I did get some pictures, so at least I'll be able to show you what that looked like and give you my impressions on that and why I returned that seat in LED tail light. Um, so after a thousand miles, I mean, I'm loving the way this bike rides. It's fast, it's quick, it, um, it looks great in this white sand pearl with those bronze rims, that blacked out motor. I'm really excited to get that s, &S exhaust on it quick and get some sound to it. Um, I didn't do a full exhaust, but I'm not sure what direction I'm going. 
um, with it. So I wanted to just kind of do a uh, some slip-ons for now. Watched a lot of different YouTube videos and heard some different sound clips. And went with the S and S. But what I haven't seen is a really, really good video on installing slip-ons on these M8s and replacing those gaskets and everything that's involved. So <clears throat> hopefully. I can get that out soon and kind of give you an idea of what that takes and what that looks like. So after a thousand miles, that's kind of where I'm at with the ST. Um, I, I really like it. I'm really enjoying the, the just that motor and the power and the torque it has. I'm enjoying the way it rides on the highway, that longer travel shock. And I got it dampened down really, really soft for me. I'm a 175 pounds, so um, I got it pretty soft. I don't ride too up on this bike, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, if I do the Avon Black Tour Pack, um, I'll definitely you know, be adjusting the shock to take care of or to add that weight and to change the dampening because of that. Um, but yeah, like this is um, the bike I'm hoping to put lots and lots of miles on. Um, so that's kind of my thousand mile review and my overview of the um, coastal package that Harley puts out. Um, so as far as that coastal package, um, you know, the only thing I think that I would really have wanted from that, knowing what I know now, would be the radio. Um, I think the flat out bar is something that, hey, it's cool because it's on there but it wouldn't have been my choice um the foot pegs i like them because they're on there and i'm not sure they would have been my choice nor is the flat out bar or the um foot peg something that i'm even going to consider keeping on the bike for a long time so i don't know if i really got the value out of it um you know you may differ in that opinion maybe those are some things you really like and you can get a better deal getting those um, put on together and at the same time you get your bike the way you want it right, right from the factory with that coastal package um, so everybody's different everybody's got their opinions I'm not here to push it either way I'm just here to give you an honest opinion on it so uh, hey thanks for uh, spending here a few minutes here with me let me talk about this lowrider ST um, <coughs> bike I'm really digging so I look forward to making some videos as far as more mods, more miles. I got some really cool stuff coming up on Back Roads and Barbecue. We're definitely going to be uh, doing some reviews of some of the top 10 barbecue places here in Oklahoma. And then we're going to be doing the um, honor tour as well. Uh, as an Army veteran, uh, the honor tour is something I'm really excited about. I'm going to be visiting uh, at least seven uh, veteran memorials here in Oklahoma. And then uh, we'll just kind of see where it goes from there. I may go down into South Texas, may go up into Kansas, east to Missouri. We'll kind of see what happens. So um, as far as I have the time to do so, that's probably the biggest hindrance. But hey, this is Adam from Backroads and Barbecue. I'm going to sign off now. And uh, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe so you have a notification of new videos coming out. And uh, we'll see you soon. God bless. So let's take the bike for a quick ride. I'll run it through the gears. I'll try to accelerate so you can hear the way the stock exhaust sounds after about a thousand miles. So it should be warning a little bit. Um, I don't have a body cam on, so I'm just doing a little bit of voiceover right now. Just kind of gonna go up some city streets. I'll run it through a few gears, kind of let you hear the sound of that motor, the sound of that exhaust um, from my perspective on the bike and then I'll just cue some music for the rest of this video. And uh, again, if you like this video, wanna support the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Got lots more coming in the way of reviews for add-ons for this bike, as well as walkthroughs of the other bikes I own, and then Tour of Honor rides, and um, hit some back, back roads and barbecue spots here in Oklahoma, and then branching out from there.